This is why I came out here for them big boys. You see, that's a size 13. Man, yo, look. What's up, man? I thought I'd give y'all a little different video instead of the, you know, this is not the survival my dad vlog. This is kind of that, but the mental part or whatever. Because, man, sometimes life get tough, gaining weight, trying to lose weight, just trying to live right, trying to be a good father, trying to do all this social media stuff, man. Just creating content by myself. That shit gets tough on my brain. I've been having headaches like every day from staring at the screen from work, then editing, then shooting, then trying to figure out how to post it and dealing with guidelines and videos getting taken down. So I'm about to do what I love, which is fishing. I'm about to go out to the lake, out there in Prairie View, Texas. PV, you know, my alma mater. I'm gonna go out there, man, and just let nature soothe my mind, man. If I catch something cool, if I don't, I don't, you know. Anybody that's a real fisherman, just being out on the water and just chilling is calm, is soothing, soothing. Man, that's perfect. So, see y'all out there at the lake. Bye. Outside of driving in uh, the country, man, because everybody got cows and them cows be dropping them cow pies, and them cow pies taste like shit. Cow pies taste like shit. Ooh, let the gate be open. No, bro, the gate is closed. Damn, man. Like it's up. It's perfect weather. It's like 73 degrees. Friday. <laughs> Come on, man. <sighs> it's a back way to get to this lake. Mind you, this is a private lake, so you gotta be careful. Clearly the sign says private property. So I see it's a car over there. I'm gonna drive, I'm gonna drive the other way that I know and ask the people who I know kind of own this lake. Well, they own this lake, they're the family, and see if they'll let me drive the back way and uh and fish. If not, then shit few moments later well there's good news and there's bad news really just all bad news uh there's the other way right there that i could go but i can't go that way because i'm in a freaking weak ass sedan y'all seen my car but i just don't want to say it in case you have it uh i'm in a weak ass sedan that cannot make it through mud you know my car gets stuck very easily if you don't know I got stuck at this lake one time for like, from like eight o'clock till like after 12 at night, man. It was a whole ordeal or whatever. So I can't go through that no more. Like I messed up, my car wobbles now cause like I had to get drug out of the mud and stuff. Damn, man. I'm gonna have to figure out another way to soothe my mind. So if y'all can hear me, that's the lake. It's a little opening right here. I hate snakes, so I'm gonna put on my big boy boots. My big boy, and that's the mud from when I got stuck. <laughs> so we'll put that on. I'm gonna walk over and hopefully I don't get in trouble. Uh, if I do, I'm gonna take my dad's home. Hopefully it ain't no issue. Lord, please don't let there be no snakes. Please. people over there hopefully they just regular people and they ain't gonna trip over me walking over the thing this is private property so let me fish before i get my ass kicked up out of here This fish been caught a bunch of times. Look at his mouth. Got the hole in his shit.
I don't want to walk all the way around because if it get dark, I still got to walk through all that grass, snakes, as you'll know. I don't do snakes at all. I'm sorry I can't give y'all better footage, man. I, I had to leave my tripod in the car because that's too much stuff to tote around. Three rides. I left my bag way... Let me zoom in. Way over there. So, if one of my baits get broke off or something, I'm just out of luck. So, all right. If I catch something, I will uh, show it. If not, you're going to see me back in the car. <laughs> well, I just had a decent fish. And he literally just pulled my lure off the line. I don't know what it is. Like when I did my very first cast, my lure came straight off. A good lure that I love. So now I just lost two, lost my spinner bait, finally found the fish again. And for some reason, it's like however I'm tying this knot, it's just not, it's not staying. I don't, I don't get it, man. So I'm gonna try to, I had my spinner bait was like white. So I'm gonna stay with white. There we go. We got another one on the drop shot. He threw that mug off. Oh, there you go. And he broke my damn Cinco. Damn it, man. He used that. Well, finally caught me a drop shot fish. Put him back in the water. Okay, I just talked a whole lot. Don't know what you caught, but there's like a lot of activity on the water now. And I just caught that other fish. Um, I figured out what was wrong. I had my drag too tight, so when the fish took it, there was no, the line was too tight. It was no give, so it just snapped or whatever. So I see fish are jumping now, so I should catch some more. I wish I had my tripod, man, so I could show y'all, you know, me casting and stuff, so it's just not my face and then a fish or whatever. But hey, man, it's, it's soothing. So I got what I want. I caught me two fish so far. Let me see if I can get some more before it get dark because I still got to walk down there where all the grass is. Hopefully ain't no snakes and shit because I hate snakes. But uh, yeah, I'll be back. And we're back with another one. Number three on the swim uh, swim jig. Uh, man, I really wish I had my damn tripod, man. Damn, I hooked him good. There we go. That's another one. Smiley, I ain't tripping. That's what I'm talking about, baby. This is why I came out here for them big boys. You see, that's a size 13. I came out here for them big boys. For them big boys, man. That's what we want, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to get y'all dirty. Get you back in the water. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about, man, oh look. <sighs> Well, that was the end of the fishing trip. I let it get way too dark, as you can see. And my ass had to go through that tall ass grass. And when I tell you my ass was running and jumping, it wasn't even, wasn't nothing making no noise, but I was just like, I don't care. I don't want to step, stepping on the, on the snake in the light. All right, still scary. Still don't want to do it. Stepping on one in the dark, ah! literally, but hey, Caught some fish. I wish I would have had my tripod up so you could have seen like a way better view. It would have been way more entertaining. I could have showed you me hooking them, getting them out of the water or whatever. But unfortunately, I just had to show you after I did all that or whatever. But um, I may invest in like a GoPro. And if you like stuff like this, which I'll I'll do another one and improve it to see if you actually will like it. If you like it, man, leave a comment. Let me know, man. As always, stay creative. My oh, 